Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Kaba Ilko. This is their part number SC1248. This is a Schlage SC1. This is a 1248 key blank or keyway uh, key blank by Kaba Ilko for Schlage, nickel silver, and six pin with a brass plating over it. So it'll look like a brass key blank, except that it's nickel silver. Um, nickel silver is a more durable base material. Keys can be made of uh, different uh, different types of material. They can be made of aluminum. They can be made of steel. They can be made of stainless steel. They can be made of brass, very commonly. Nickel silver, very commonly. They can be made of plastic. Um, whatever the key is, you know, whatever whatever the base material is, um, that's an important thing to know. This is nickel silver. It has a brass plating on it that will make it look brass but it is more durable than brass. Nickel silver is. I believe nickel silver at one time, maybe a hundred years ago, was called German silver. Early key blanks were made from German silver or nickel silver. Okay, So the SC1248, this is a, this would be a, considered a restricted keyway from Schlage. You can order them, but there's going to be a multiple required from Schlage directly. Um, obviously, Kaba Ilko, obviously the patent expired uh, from Schleg, which would be um, wh whatever it was. I, you know, I don't know, 12 years, whatever it was. And Kaba Ilko clearly deemed that there was enough potential volume of business for them to make their version of the uh, SC1248 key blank, and here it is. That, that's a six pin blank. I know that just because I can tell the length of the blade. But let me give you some dimensional properties of it, should you like to know. A blade height of the key blank 0 0.343, 0 0.343 overall height. From the shoulder stop to the very tip, I can estimate that here fairly accurately with the caliper. I'd say that we're right at 1.186. 1.186 is what I would estimate that to be. Now, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where we can get to the Kaba Ilko key blank catalog for more information. And let's switch to the screen view so we can take a look at that now. Okay, so this is the page that we're looking at, and the catalog link to the manufacturer's page is found here. And then when that comes up, you're looking for key blank catalog. I happen to have that page, that catalog loaded, and it's on at least this current document. Section 2, page 63. Section 2 is the second section in the catalog for North American cylinders. And page 63 is where we can look at all of these restricted key blanks from Kaba Ilko. Okay, so we're dealing with the SC1248. What's nice about this is it's going to give you a, pro, a, a, a broaching profile. Okay, now I just rotated the page so that we can kind of look at it a little more the way that you would actually see it. Now what's important to know here SC1248, so we're looking at this. What's important to note here is this is what the broaching looks like in the cylinder plug and not the key blank itself. If you were looking at the key blank from the tip towards the bow, you're going to see the exact opposite of this. This view is as if you're looking down into the cylinder, so be mindful of that. Um, that if you're trying to match up a key blank, that what you're looking at here is the, if you have a key in your hand, you're going to have to, in your mind's eye, flip that symmetrically over because this is the cylinder. That's what you look like, looks like when you look down, when you look down into the, into the cylinder of that, okay? More Schlage uh, is listed in this catalog, obviously. This is the ubiquitous 5-pin C keyway, the 1145 but the key blanks we're talking about right are right here. Now, where are these key blanks used? Well, just in those applications where there's a restricted uh, keyway. They are, um, they're not restricted. Um, they're, they're protected, um, meaning you would have to file a letter of authorization with the factory to purchase these direct from Schlage. Well, 
that's certainly not a problem, um, I would think, if you're buying key blanks and the factory requires it, there you go. But one obstacle may be the requirement of a box of 50 uh, for protected sorts of uh, inventory like this. Well, Kaba Ilko makes a lot of these available. Um, and you can buy one or you can buy whatever quantity you like, and they'll be happy to oblige. This catalog is incredibly valuable, 500 pages worth of key blank references. And what's really nice about this document as well from Kaba Ilko is the cross-reference reference ability as well. So the SC-1248 shows up in this document twice. Okay, That is the original Schlage number there. Okay, So if you have an original manufacturer's number, and if Kaba Ilko makes the blank, you'll be able to locate that number in this cross-reference. Cross so let's just you know get away from Schlage and let's take a look at um, very very commonly Lockwood would be very common if you have an older lock you know if you've got a Lockwood key blank there it is okay obviously Corbin or Corb or Russwin or Corbin Russwin um, it would be very uh, handy to be able to get to and uh, so here we are looking at our Corbin stuff 59C1, you know, you can convert that to this six pin Kaba Ilko. This is also nice because not only locks, but other manufacturers of key blanks are here as well. Curtis, uh, Dominion, uh, we scrolled past Orion earlier. So you can cross reference from any manufacturer, almost any major manufacturer, to a Kaba Ilko number within, within this document. So it's 500 pages of really rich important data uh, for you to be able to review. Also on this manufacturer's page you're going to be able to get to the manufacturer's website. The other important document that's here is the brass cylinder manual that will allow you to review all things cylinder related from Kaba Ilko, mortise cylinders, rim cylinders, key and knob, key and lever, uh, key, uh, deadbolt style cylinders that would feature a lazy action tailpiece. All their key blank catalog stuff is in this area as well. We even have an archival catalog, a 1950 catalog. This um, part of the page with archival vintage catalogs is ever growing. Um, this 1950 book is a really, really epic document um, that will indeed take quite some time to load. And I would recommend that you do a file save as to get it onto your local machine to look at it there. Um, but you know, if you if you are doing research or you are just interested to see what a mid-century Kaba Ilko key blank looked like, that's the document for you. Okay, let's wrap up this video on camera. So the name Kaba Ilko is synonymous, obviously, with key blanks and very high quality cylinders. They also have a line of very low profile deadbolts. A deadbolt system that is modular, meaning you've got a hub that gets installed into the door. What happens is the hub goes in the crossbore, uh, the two and an eighth inch hole generally. It'll go down to inch and seven eighths. Then your latch bolt comes in and you secure the two together. Into that hub, you then thread mortise cylinders, which means, you know, let's say you have some odd mortise cylinder. Okay, um, <laughs> you know. Let's say you have some really odd mortise cylinder. This is a Brahma cylinder. Brahma uh, is a name. Joseph Brahma is a name who is a seminal character in the evolution of lock sets. Brahma is a name that you can still purchase cylinders today. I did this radial style uh, Brahma lock. The point I'm trying to make is if you wanted to do something odd, as odd as a Brahma cylinder with this radial style key, and turn it into a classic deadbolt, yeah, you'd be able to do that. The issue would be you're gonna to have to make your own tailpiece, because uh, I don't think the Adams Wright style cam is gonna work on that. But that wouldn't be a that wouldn't be proved to be too much of a challenge, especially to someone who who is a locksmith. Um, so you can obviously do odd things with their uh, their deadbolt, such as making strange cylinders work them or maybe not so strange maybe you want to do a maybe you have 
you know, some sort of a protected uh, cylinder installation that you're doing, um, and you want to have a deadbolt that's a little bit uh, lower profile, um, you could also um, find yourself just simply reusing cylinders with that. You might want to have, um, you might have locks that are some keyway that, you know, could be, uh, you know, an old, uh, a Corbin 59, since we were just talking about that. And you've got old Corbin locks on your building that was built in 1912. I don't know the history of the 59 memorized. Um, that's easy to pull up, uh, but that's probably not too far of a stretch. Uh, or maybe, let's say 1938. Um, so you'd be able to buy the part, the cylinders, certainly from Cobb Elko, they're deadbolt, and you'd be able to have a Corbin 59 single double cylinder deadbolt work on your door. What's nice about that deadbolt is they'll get into a two inch back set as well. So if you had a pair of French doors uh, with four inch styles, like 10 light 2 doors, you want that key right, that lock right in the center of that four inch style. Cobb Elko, to my knowledge, is the only one who has a two inch back set. Anyway, we're well off the track. This is an SC1248 key blank. If you have any questions on this or any other Kaba Ilko product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you very much.